I said that I would um, offer a few reflections um, on my, my time as uh, ED in the last 10 months and also on the sort of impact of events. Um, so I think the, just the first kind of context, clearly the issues are increasing rapidly in relevance and provenance. Um, clearly there's a wide range of the sector um, that is now facing these types of issues. Um, there was a report that was launched a couple of weeks ago in the US by the Open Net Initiative looking at uh, the role of uh, US and Canadian companies in um, selling technology that was enabling governments to filter and censor the internet. And I think so there's all types, all kinds of issues that are coming up across, across the sector. Um, and also I think in terms of that just the time at which this is taking place, I think these issues are happening at a time when there's quite a lot of focus um, from an intergovernmental and uh, multilateral organisational level. So just thinking through the things that are happening in the UN at the moment from the uh, Protect, Respect and Remedy framework, uh, the RUGGY framework that will uh, go to the uh, UN uh, in June, and also the work of uh, Frank LaRue, the UN Special Rapporteur on Freedom of Expression. Again, I think there's a report going to the, the uh, UN Human Rights Council in, in June this year. So it seems that you know there's a, there's a lot of things happening from the kind of events through to large international organisations that are starting to, to really focus on these issues. And then I was just going to close on um, two sort of substance gaps, I guess, that I would, I would just highlight. And it, it seems to me that, the, you know, one of the first ones, and I think that the, um, you know, the, the events in the Middle East and North Africa are, are a very good illustration of this, Increasingly, there's sort of public discourse is taking place on private networks. Um, and that's leading to a whole range of issues. So governments are becoming increasingly interested. Um, and I think also, you know, it's, it's showing how connected the ICT sector is and how the different parts of the ICT sector work together. Um, and I think this is, you know, it's placing companies in a position where um, there is, they are potentially receiving requests from governments which, which can impact on the rights of their users. So the, the roles and responsibilities of companies in that situation, I think, is, you know, and, and how to address that is becoming increasingly important. And then I wanted to end just on the, uh, the users um, and, the, and the impact for users. It seems to me that there's a real gap between the current sort of knowledge and information um, and how informed users are about these issues and about these dynamics and, and where they need to be. So, you know, it seems that there's a real need for transparency uh, and that there's, there's a potential role for companies there in terms of educating users about these issues and how they handle uh, these requests. So, I will stop there.